Good morning, hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday morning. So we are now back to regular schedule. So the Friday is our unboxing Friday. So let's unbox some stuff, okay? So this morning, I'm gonna big shout out to Georgiana from Brista Hustle. So I'm um, Brista Hustle is one of those companies that are very sneaky and they sell really high quality uh, coffee gears. And the price is great because they're not too cheap, they're not too expensive, but they sell it at, they make, you know what, e enough say. Okay, so let me show you instead. So I'm gonna have my camera person hold the camera for me this morning as well. There you go, son. Make sure I get the right angle there. Okay. So let's open this one up. So let's find out what we got here. Okay, let's find out. Okay. I think I can get a, this. I mean, Brewster has a sale worldwide. Yeah, so, so they send us two packages. Let's start with. Let's start with this one. Yeah. Okay, so this is the Brista Hustle temper. I mean, their temper is very unique. Okay, let's, let me show you. It comes with a beautiful carrying case. Man, I love their presentation as well. This is really, actually, I'm pretty surprised by the, their presentation. You got the BH on it, Brewster Hustle. Man, check that out. This is, looks beautiful. So, the, so this, this is 58 millimeter. You know what? Okay, I thought this is a plastic, but this is something else, okay? This is something else, oh my goodness. So, okay, so this is quite heavy. Okay, so let's find out how heavy this is. Okay, here we go. So this one is weighed at 260 gram. Again, let me, okay, compare to my so this is a temper from uh, San Antonio industry. So obviously this is a 54 millimeter. I'm not comparing, you know, apple to apple here. So this is about 120 gram. Again, this one is about 260 grams. So even twice as heavy. So man, I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed so far. Okay, this is really nice. So what we're gonna do is upcoming weeks, I'm gonna be using this on my uh, 58 millimeter coffee machine at my coffee dungeon. So yeah, let's do that. So this is, I'm pleasantly surprised with Brista Hustle Temper. Steel flat piston. Okay, so this is the steel flat piston, okay. Okay, so let's put this one. So that's really cool. Okay, so that's what we got here. Okay, that's what we got here. So this is, again, make sure to check out the, the Brista Hustle Tours.com. So I'm going to put the link down below. Okay. So this one. Yes. Okay, let's see. They look like shoebox. Okay, they're okay, they send us the do oh wow, check this out. So this is their cupping cups. Okay, they knew about my uh, roasting habit, so they hooked me up with their cupping cups here. Okay, 
the thing is, thank you, son. My cameraman is bored with holding the camera there. Okay, so we have, let's see, how many cups we have? Goodness. We have, let's see here, got three, six, ten. We have another, you got four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, fourteen. So we have twenty-four. Uh, it, it makes sense because you want to have uh, even numbers. Yeah, 24. Man, 24 <laughs> cupping cups. By the way, I have no idea what I'm going to do with, with this dosing. I mean, the cupping cups here, but actually, it's pretty cool. Okay. So my plan is I'm planning on doing a lot more uh, cupping in this channel. So it's going to be definitely helps. Again, I'm going to big shout out to Brewster Hustle. Uh, uh, Georgiana, if you are watching, thank you for this. Uh, by the way, I'm really pleasantly surprised with your, I mean, their temper, okay? Because this is not, I mean, okay, because whenever you watch something on like, like website that look like plastic and something uh, somewhat flimsy or light, it's not. This is heavy duty. So, I mean, I can't wait to try this one out on my uh, Rancheria Servia. So, man, we definitely play with this. And also, we do have the uh, Force Temper as well. So, we have a Force Temper. We have the Brista Hustle Temper. So, we have a lot of things to compare uh, upcoming weeks. I'm really looking forward to trying this one out. So, only thing I'm missing is the uh, Big Temper from uh, Portman. Okay? The Big Step. So that's the kind of like one thing I, uh, I'm not waiting for, but it'd be nice to have a comparison there. But man, feels really good. Looks great. Again, this is not a plastic. I think it's like anodized aluminum. Anodized aluminum, okay? Anodized aluminum. So yeah, feels really good. Not bad, okay? I have to say. The price is also really good as well. If you go check out their website. Hold on, I'm going to have... Can you go to Bristol Hustle website and get the price for me? So I'm gonna check out the price. Because most temper, high-end temper, they're over $150, between $150 and $175. For this one is, hold on, I'm just gonna wait. I know some of you already know, let me know in the comment section as well, but I, I'll let you know right now. Um, I believe it's around $70 range though. Uh, did you find it? By the way, if you are jo just joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to our live streaming. My live stream is pretty spontaneous. Uh, that's the word, I'm, you know, that's the right word. Spontaneous, un obviously unedited. I mean, I have no idea what we're going to talk about, you know, like five or ten minutes before the, you know, our live streaming. So it's a lot of fun, okay? And we always talk about something though, but obviously Friday, I'm trying to dedicate Friday to, for the uh, like unboxing, you know, something unbox every f single Friday to have some fun with it. I know this week we did about three unboxed already because I have like stack of products I have to show you guys. But how much? $49.95. Okay. So this one is a 58.5 millimeter. You, do you know, do they have 53 point, uh, 53 millimeter or just only one option? I, I think I'm gonna contact them because it'd be great for uh, Bravo Brista users out there if they can come up with a 53.5 millimeter because 58, this is 58.5. So this is great stuff. 49 bucks is great. If they can come up with 53 millimeter for you know our Brista, uh, Brista Express or if Brista Kind of could be Express, Pro, even Bambino in future. It'd be great, great addition to your coffee bar there. So anyway, uh, let's see here. So that's it for this morning. Comes to unboxing here. Again, so this coffee cups, I got 24 of them. I don't think I ever going to use 24, but goodness. I guess nice to have it, I guess. 
Okay, so uh, I'm gonna big shout out to Justin. So I'm planning is okay. So we are this is our channel. So I don't want to say my channel because obviously you know we are in this thing together. Uh, I'm planning on doing some a lot more coughing and because I want to like grow with you guys. So that's the plan for upcoming month. We've been playing with probably the Express or Pro for the years, but now. I mean, we continue to use this machine, but you know, let's try something. Okay, let's try something new. We're gonna do more, uh, do some more coughing in the morning. Try different beans. Maybe play with different water temperature. So maybe, hopefully, you know what? We we are going to find that perfect cough coffee uh, by end of this year. So that is the. Go ahead. So these cups, you can do a lot of different stuff with this. Okay, not only cupping, but you can actually dose out. And what else can we do with this? Um, it's an easy way to compare a few coffees and test out our taste. Yep. So. Okay. So anyway, so this is a really great way to kind of have fun with it. Again, you guys need a. Coughing cups? No. I mean, you can have like four or five different cups you can play with. But with having a, this standardized uh, cups, you can actually make process more interesting. Okay. So this, so I have a two coughing cup set here. I have the Brista Hustle coughing cup set, and also I got the coughing cup from the Rob Romix as well. Rob Romix is one of those cups that change in color based on uh, water temperature. So. So maybe, you know what, maybe, uh, maybe I can show you side by side. But that one, I only have about six, six, or, six or seven of those. Obviously, we have 24, okay? I don't know, are I ever gonna use 24 at a time? Who knows, maybe, okay? Maybe someday if I open up my coffee roaster, definitely I need at least 24 coffee cups. Okay, so I hope you guys like this, this video. If you guys like it, make sure to press thumbs up. Okay, and then, so that's a kind of like finish with our first part of our live streaming. And then usually second part, we just make some coffee and if you have any questions about the machines, you kind of like chit chatting, so. Uh, okay, so let's get going. So I'm gonna make, uh, I have, a, again, I got some coffee beans left from Battlebone Coffee. This is Guatemala. Um, direct trade. Direct trade means you buy copies from directly from the source. So, by the way, I have the 25% off coupon code below as well. So make sure to check it out. So there are uh, Tucson base. Okay, so this is Tucson base. They are the truly micro roaster. So, so let's make some. You know what? Let's do latte this morning. Let's do small latte. So. Okay, I'm just gonna clean my station here for a second. You know what, uh, I think I'm gonna do, let's use my DF64, okay. I'm gonna do direct dose, okay. I'm gonna do the direct dosing. I mean, if you guys are thinking about buying DF64, man, they are, so far, I really like this. This is pretty good coffee grinder for the price, okay? $400, uh, $450 shipped. So, I mean, if you guys are looking for, you know, you kind of add it to your coffee bar, maybe you guys can uh, maybe toss between niche versus, you know, DF64. Make sure to give, you know, DF DF64 a chance as well. Just, you know, take a look. I got some video on that. I got quite a few videos on that as well. And plus, you can do a lot of mod, okay? Modification too, so. It's a lot of fun to do. Okay, I'm just gonna heat up my powder filter. What'd you say? The dual broiler espresso machine, the Creme One Profiler. Creme One Profiler. Man, you know what, folks? There's so many great machines out there. The good thing is that I can I can only buy one machine. Okay, I'm trying to raise money for our channel. So far, we raised four hundred and thirty dollars so far. Okay, and then my goal is trying to raise money from uh, our channel for about thousand bucks. Okay, thousand dollars, and then 
I'm trying to get a sponsor for another thousand, maybe sponsor a company and another thousand dollars from me. So maybe around three thousand dollar coffee machine. So so let's find out. By the way, someone asked me yesterday on my YouTube live. Um, you guys think that this is more like QVC of YouTube channel, my coffee channel. You know what? You'd be really cool. OK, so I mean, I'd love to someday. OK, not now. Maybe one of those days my morning should become like QVC type, okay? I don't know, uh, maybe some of you don't know what QVC is. It's kind of like home shopping network. I mean, I kind, I kind of showcase coffee gears. If you guys like it, call in, you know, check it out. Maybe some buy some stuff, yeah. It'd be a lot of fun, okay? It'd be a lot of fun. All right, so let's do the direct dosing for so I got 21 gram. So I, I'm, I'm using the IMS filter baskets. The finally is on stock now, so I'm gonna show you more often. So I got 21 gram here. Just simply put it in. Thomas bought a Lillette? Goodness. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna do the direct dosing. Just like so. I got 21 gram in there. They're pretty fluffy, I have to say. Very fluffy. Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm using one hand here. I'm, I'm just gonna get all the coffee grinds out. Oops, that's what happens. Okay, that's what happens when you're using one hand. Okay, that's a big mess. Anyway, okay, so if you are looking for, I needed some kind of adapter for this. Okay, I know, so this is like 3D print. I think CY made it for me years ago. It could be CY or Thomas. It works great, but you cannot use one hand. So I'm just gonna, hold on, hold on guys. By the way, if you are watching after this, for the live streaming, just skip this portion, okay? Just skip it. Okay, I'm just going to, man, I think I did that yesterday too. I pretty much spilled the coffee grinds yesterday as well, because I hate, wasting my coffees hold on i'm just gonna clean like this so i was hoping to brew about 21 gram but i don't know it's, it's not gonna be 21. i'm just gonna making a big mess here right now hold on goodness okay it's more like 20 gram maybe. So I'm using the IMS filter baskets. So great thing about the IMS, you can actually fit about 20 to 23, okay? If somebody did a super chat or sticker, what, what's the name? Wassim? Yassim. Thank you so much for your super chat there. Is that super chat or super sticker? I'm not sure. Okay. So we have about 20, 20 gram plus minus couple gram on the ground there. Okay. So my, okay, so lately I've been using the, the manual mode, okay? I don't know, uh, if you guys have been using manual mode over automatic, not the automatic, but just the standard mode, let me know in the comment section. I'm really enjoying the, the manual mode, okay? The manual mode is really simple. Let me get you there. Just simply hold down. Doesn't matter single or double cut button. As long as you hold down, you are going into pre-infusion mode. And then whenever you let it go, give you the four. So this machine is more like between six and eight bar machine. So give you that consistent pressure. So give you beautiful shot. So, so you know, let me show you. Okay, let's, let me show you what that shot look like. I know you guys see me all the time on my channel, but yeah. So since Brista Pro has a built-in uh, timer, 
So I'm, I'm just going to measure time by the Okay, here we go. Okay, so let's take a look. So this is the bottomless shot. So I'm gonna I'm gonna doing about like seven or eight second pre infusion there. Mess six, seven. Once I see that dripping, just let it go. That's it. Shot looks really good. It's all crema. A little bit of channeling, but it's not bad. Okay. It's perfect shot. So that's the great thing about using like, you know, precision filter baskets. And also, you know, having a good grinder helps as well. Yeah, so I mean, this shot looks good. Beautiful, man. If you guys like crema, definitely check out the Guatemala. Okay. All right, let's steam some milk. Okay, let's do some milk. All right. Again, uh, if someone asked me yesterday, uh, can I go, uh, what do you think about the difference between Pro versus Express? And then what do you prefer? If you guys like milk-based drink, I go with a Pro. Okay, I definitely go with the Pro. Because, again, it's already starting right now. Okay. And, but if you guys like to save some money, because it's about hundred dollar difference there, but if you guys want to some save some money, if you don't mind, wait a little bit. Okay, uh, Brista Express is not that bad either. So, comes to Brista Pro takes about what forty five seconds to steam the milk. Brista Express maybe just over a minute or so. Okay, milk is almost done. Make sure wipe it clean the steam one after. Okay, just make sure wipe it clean. You know what? And also flush it if you can. Okay, make sure flush. So I'm, I'm just gonna heat up my cup at the same time here. All right, let's do some little bit of latte art, okay? I'm just gonna go my espresso. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. This is more like flat white, okay? But it looks pretty good. This is more like flat white there, but again, I mean, Brista Pro does, or even Brista Express, fine job comes to steaming the milk, so. Cheers, everybody. Yep, so this is good flat white, okay. Very strong coffee flavor from Guatemala, so. If you guys are looking for like some fruity notes, something bright, like Ethiopia is great, maybe Costa Rica, I really like that as well. And if you wanted something like more earthy tone, like South America is really good. But you know what? I always put some caramel on my coffee. It all depends on the mood. Uh, sometimes one shot or two shots. We're not gonna judge you for that, okay? They're perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna have a couple sip there. Uh, that's for my son there. Ian, my, your coffee's ready, son? Okay. So anyway, uh, again, I, I hope you guys like this video. So, uh, this type of videos and this format, we got a lot more kind of like new things coming in this channel. So make sure to uh, press like on these videos. 
in all my videos, just press up. I know some of you out there, the not, I don't want to say haters, but you know, I don't know why you guys thumbs down on these videos. Okay, I, I just don't get it. Okay, I just don't get it. But it's okay. All right, this is a free country. Anyway, uh, let's see what else. Uh, I got some more unboxing coming. I got some really, really e exciting unboxing coming up next week. I mean, that's kind of like a top secret. Let's put it that way. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of like hyping. I think I'm hyping too much, but yeah. I got some really special unboxing coming up as well. And also I'm getting, uh, okay, these tools. <clears throat> These tools from this great addition to your Brista Express, uh, friends out there, it could be game changer. Okay, it could be game changer. So that's another unboxing coming up as well. Uh, that one is coming from far away. So it's coming from, I don't want to say, but yeah, it's coming from other country. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, uh, any other question this morning? Uh, yes. Yes, and ask. Yes, and ask. Uh, Yasm asked DF64 versus Niche. Pretty much is, you're asking should I go with the Android versus Apple, okay, like I, iOS, okay. I know, I think see why I put that, yeah, pretty eloquently. Because DF64 is kind of rough on the edge. Uh, from the, coming out from the box, it's like 99%, you know. With a Niche, I mean, that's, well, niche works good. I mean, niche is a start, well polished, they're well built. I know some, you know, some people think that is a motor is under power, but you know what? So far, I have no problem there. So, with the DF64, you gotta do some little bit of modification. So, there's a lot of 3D. If you have a 3D print, your friends or family, you can, you know, add some 3D options so you can make better make complete let's put it that way but from the box i mean it's somewhat lim uh, it's, it's not perfect machine okay not perfect grinder Every, entire package is good okay you got 64 millimeter flat burr set uh, you know this dosing cup is plastic but i like it but i don't use my dosing cup because hopefully i can show you guys hold on the things I don't, I don't like about I don't like about this machine. I mean this coffee grinder. You, you see the uh, the, uh, the height, the spacing between DF64 and this dosing cup there is pretty tall, okay, pretty high. So whenever you dose out, sometimes it spills out to the side. That's another reason I put another dosing cup on the top. So now you don't have that issue. And then sometimes whenever I'm using it with the vibration, just slowly come out and fall out. Just make sure you gotta watch it, okay? And they give, that's why they give you this rubber piece. Two on the top right now. They got two more here, so you can put two more on the bottom if you want to, but that's optional as well. But yeah. So that definitely helps. And uh, what else? Uh, comes to motor is great. I mean, ev everything works. Bellow. I know people, uh, I know friends start making the popcorn, uh, anti-popcorn device with a 3D print. So you got some, a lot of options. Again, you have a lot of options for, if you have a 3D print, you can do a lot more stuff, okay? And this says it angles towards the cup so everything goes right in. The sleeve, with the sleeve. Yeah. So, I mean, again, I mean, if you have a, but, Besides that, okay, the F64 is good grinder. But if you got, if you are going to ask me, if you have the money, again, we are talking about conical burr versus a flat burr. So it's all depends on what you like the most, okay? If you guys like, because conical burr bring out the, all the brightness in the coffee. And uh, I feel like flapper bring out the, all the earthy tones, kind of like flat flavor, like chocolate notes and nutty notes. So this, ideally, you want to have both, okay? But Brabber has the conical burr inside. But if you, you guys like the flavor of it, go with the niche because they'll bring out even more, okay? 
But if you don't like the, the conical bird flavor, okay, you might want to try the flat bird. So price is good, $450, goodness, a shift. That's cheaper than the Satay 270 WI. The Satay's WI is about what? 550 bucks, so yeah, it's, I mean, price is good, okay? Price is really good, so I, I bet you, you can't go wrong with it. Can't go wrong with, can't go wrong with it, both coffee grinders, okay? I'm gonna big shout out to Joe from Espresso Outlet to let me using this one for, you know, using it, so yeah. Make sure to check out the Espresso Outlet as well. Man, this sounds like, I, I, you know what? Someday, okay, I'm gonna <clears throat> turn this channel into a shopping channel. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun for you guys. We're gonna have some weekly host, a guest host, and then what else? Maybe some celebrity host, celebrity that loves coffee. <clears throat> I bet you I have some guests. It'll be a lot of fun there. Okay. We have a question from Stephen. Stephen has a question. Okay. Pro. Okay. Nine gram. Default settings. Yep. Shot time was 28 to 30 seconds. 47 to 50 grams. 47. 40 ml and dry puff old to 17 to 18 seconds. Wow. And wet puff with IMS. Okay. Stephen has a lot to say. Okay. So, okay. I, I, so I use the IMS. Let's find out what kind of puck I get. So I get about. So puck is so much uh, dry, okay? So with the IMS, hold on a second, let me get it out here. Okay, with the IMS filter basket, you don't want to use 18 gram or 19 gram. You want to use, preferably use about 20 gram because this is a lot bigger than, so this is more like triple basket. So if you use the underdose on this one, the puck get wet. So Stephen, uh, try with a uh, 20 gram, and then let me know how it goes, okay? And, and also, if you are using the darker roast, uh, the puck get really soggy as well. So it's all depend on the how fresh your coffee beans is, and there's a lot to it. So if you are using the fresh coffee beans with the right, right dosing amounts, you, you, shouldn't have, uh, you shouldn't have any problem with pretty much any filter basket. Why change the shot time? Shot time is all depend on your taste. So, I mean, between 25 and 35 seconds, 30 seconds, that's kind of like the SCA standard, okay? The standard shot time. The fact is there is, if you are starting doing the pre-infusion, shot time is pretty much, you know, is pretty much gone, okay? Because it's all depend on your taste profile. So, again, uh, if I were you, I'm going to base on the ratio first. Okay? If I'm going to do the 1 to 2 ratio, 1 to 3 ratio, just try with that and then start uh, playing with the shot time and then get to find the, you know, get the taste you like. Is it, the fact is, is your coffee, there's no right or wrong way to make coffee. The, I'm not an expert at coffee making, but I know what I like, okay? I know same goes for you as well. I know. You guys know what you guys like comes to coffee wise. Because once you drink good coffee, you know that's good, okay? Once you drink some bad coffee, you know what? It's not that great. So, I mean, you know it. So, just find the coffee you like. Just have fun with it. Oh, let's see. Anything else? Did you hear that Linda said Thomas got a Lillette? Yes, uh, Lillette. Thomas got a Lillette Bianca. Boy, my friends in Singapore, man, they are spending, spending some money right now. That's great. Good to hear it. But I, I'm, I'm hoping uh, any of you are going to get, hopefully, someone's going to get GS3. I, I love to see one of you get the GS3 or even like Slayer. It'd be great. Uh, I love to see that because it seems like everybody getting Lillette Bianca. You know, Dane got one, Thomas just got one, Joe's got one. Who else? I know, I think Flavio got one too, I think. Yeah, I think quite a few of our friends got one so yeah maybe is anybody has an r58 from rockets i don't think anybody has r58 from our channel maybe okay anything else this morning i think we are good this morning so it's only about 8 40 right now i'm going to be jumping to instagram and then show my instagram friends the what we have so show show up some of my brista hustle temper 
Anyway, so again, uh, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure to do it, okay? Because we do a lot of live streaming as well. And uh, we usually have some people on and just chit chat about coffee. It's a lot of fun there. So anyway, hold on. What? Okay, so decent. Oh, by the way, I just made a good point. The decent espresso machine that just came up with the decent XXL. Man, that looks fantastic there. That looks really good. But I think that costs about over five thousand dollars. So if I'm spent, by the way, hey, let me throw a question back to you. If you have five thousand dollars to spend, okay, what do you guys want to get? So what is that machine? If you have five five grind to burn. Yeah, let me know in the comment section. Love to hear from you. Anyway, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow morning.